Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Tracy. Today's session is about helping and strengthening the shoulders, putting a little bit of mobility into this upper body space so that we feel less pain, less discomfort, and just overall more at ease, okay? So join me on the mat. We're gonna start with our feet, hip width distance apart. Whenever we're in Tadasana, this mountain pose, we're gonna spread our toes nice and wide. You're gonna lengthen up through the thighs. So we're gonna lift those thighs up away from the kneecaps. We're gonna draw the belly in, shoulders on top of the waist, take the arms all the way up. Inhaling here and exhaling, hands to the heart. Again, breathing in, arms up and exhaling, breathing out. Noticing how the shoulders feel by just doing this. Breathing in and exhale, breathing out. Okay, soften the knees slightly with the belly drawn in. Open up the chest here. And then exhale, soften and sway to the side. You got it. Come back, back up. Breathing in. Exhale, sway to the other side. Heard my doggy over there. Breathing in. He's guarding us from a squirrel. In and exhale, sway. Come on back to center, breathing in, and then sway to the side. You got it. Come on back all the way up, and then release. We're gonna roll the shoulders out for three, two, one. From here, I want you to take the left arm up. As you reach the left arm up, relax the top shoulder, and then extend the fingertips down below. Inhale, lengthening here, Exhale, breathing out, breathing in. We're gonna switch arms, breathing out. From here, again, keeping this arm in the body. So we're gonna not overextend here, reaching the yoga fingers up to the sky, yoga fingers down below, breathing in and out. Inhale, exhale. Okay, so we're doing this dynamically now, breathing in and out. In and out, you got it. Breathing in and out, in and out, in and out. Perfect. From here, lift both arms all the way up, breathe in, and then come on down, breathe out. I want you to imagine your brush stroking up. Breathing in, exhale, breathing out. Inhaling. Exhaling, in and out, you got it. One more time, breathing in and out. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and widen the stance a little bit more. So I'm going more than hip width distance apart. I want you to find a comfortable place where you're gonna sit, sit kind of down into your stance. Spread your toes nice and wide. Keep the shoulders on top of your waist. Take the arms out. Now notice here, how do you feel? Take your hands on the hips. Let's try to have the knees toward the baby toes versus sagging in like this. Then we're gonna feel strong, okay? We're our nice tripod stance of kind of like going down. So not tripod, but like duopod because we're our two feet. We're gonna stand nicely into our space here. Knees going toward the baby toes, chest up, Back straight, take the arms out, good. From here, I want you to brush stroke the left arm to touch those fingertips to this arm, to this hand, and then slide it all the way across, back to where it began. Again, brush stroke across, brush stroke across the body, okay? And now be a little bit more dynamic, so turn the body, look to the fingertips, come all the way across, breathing out, again. In and out, extend. Opening the chest up, you got it. Breathing and extending. One more time, opening up, touching and expanding out. Let's do the other side. Keep those shoulders nice and soft on our side. Touch, bring it back. Swaying, touch, bring it back. Again. Touch, bring it back. Touch, bring it back. We're gonna do one more time. Inhaling, don't forget to breathe. Exhaling, 
From here, release the arms. Stand up, breathe in, touch. Hands to the heart, breathe out. Again, inhale, bending, arm, bending knees, arms come up, straightening the legs, breathe out. Again, bending. You got it, breathing out. One more time, inhaling and exhaling. Okay, from here, I want you to tip, pretend you have a little bag of magic dust on your hip. So you're gonna take that magic dust, pull it out, take some into your fist, and then sprinkle it out all the way down. Okay, again, taking that sprinkle dust, sparkly dust, magic dust, up and sprinkle it down. Good. And then we're gonna do this nice and dynamically with intention and then release. Nice magic dust coming up and releasing it down. Okay, two more. Up and release. Up and release. Other side. Up and release. So it's good to do the first one as a boo, release. Now we're gonna be intentional, a little more slow, expanding those yoga fingers, releasing the arms, we're gonna do three more. Nice tight belly, making sure the bottom part of our body is still nice and firmly rooted. Just because we're working the upper body doesn't mean we need a slack on the lower. And last one here, up and release well done we're going to go ahead and roll the shoulders out two and one bend the knees let's take our fingertips inside the thighs here okay so the thumbs are going toward kind of the back of my body fingertips are inside now from here let's go ahead and bend into this right shoulder into the center you got it come back to center other side, bend that left shoulder inside. You got it. Okay, let's do it without a little moaning and groaning. <laughs> I'm sure you're not at home, but I am over here. Breathing in and out. Ooh, it's great for the shoulder strengthening here. Nice little stretch. Okay, good. Another side. You got it. Come back to center, arms up. Breathe in and out. We're gonna toe heel our feet back in. Now I want you to come to the top of your mat, okay? Feet are hip width distance apart. We're gonna take our arms all the way up. Inhale here and exhale. We're gonna bend down. Hello, plant. Inhale to flat back. Exhale down to the toes. We're gonna take our hands down to the mat. I want you to step back one, two feet, hip width distance apart into your downward dog. Now, depending on how your shoulders are feeling, we're gonna bend into those knees here. We're spreading our fingertips nice and wide. Okay, rooting the hands into the mat. Okay, I want you to open up the chest, engage the tops of your arms so you're not falling into your shoulders, you're feeling nice and strong. You got it. Lift up the hips nice and tall to the sky. Let's drop the knees down to the mat. Come into tabletop here. Perfect. So in tabletop, we're going to go ahead and do a cow pose. Breathe in. Exhale, round the back to cat. Okay. Making sure the shoulders are stacked on top of the wrists. Knees right underneath the hips. Inhaling again to cow. Exhaling to cat. Do that one more time. Breathing in, cow. Exhale to cat. Okay, perfect. From here, we're going to, I'm going to turn myself around just so you can see me. It's a really good view. We're going to take the right arm all the way up and then we're going to scoop it through. Okay, breathing in, high five to the side wall. Exhale, scooping. So while we're doing this, we're opening up the chest. We're opening up the shoulder and we're kind of um, stre stretching into the upper back muscles. Two, two more, in and out. You got it, one more. Breathing in 
and out. Okay, we have to switch hands, making sure shoulders are on top of the wrist. In and out. Really nice scoop. Okay, don't rush this. Inhale, high five to the side wall, and then scoop through so you're feeling this nice stretch in the shoulder blade area. You got it. Breathing in and out. Okay, in and out. Two more. Breathing in and out. Last one, in and out. You got it. Good. Take your hands down and then melt into child's pose. Okay, so in child's pose, your fingertips are reaching to the front. Your sits bones are snug down to your heels. Take a nice deep breath here, please. In and out. One more breath, in and out. Good, slowly, tight belly, press yourself up. Okay, awesome. From here, I'd like you to come onto your sits bones, please. Find a comfortable seated position in Sukhasana. From this position, it doesn't matter where your feet are placed, I want you to take the right arm in front of you. And then take the other arm and go ahead and pull it up to stretch. You're feeling nice stretch in the side here. And then when you do this, try to show me your yoga fingers. So don't have the hands just like, eh, but expand them outward. Breathing in here and out. One more breath in and out. Okay, like one more. Breathe in and release. Okay, other side. Take the arm across and go ahead and pull up on it. So it depends on how tight or weak your shoulders are. This may feel quite intense um, or you may not feel it at all. But in all cases, I want you to have the yoga fingers expanded and I want you to focus on what you're feeling. Breathe in and out. Inhaling, exhale. Breathe in and release. Okay, let's go ahead and take the right arm up, high five to the sky, and then go ahead and touch your back behind you so that the elbow is gonna try to reach up to the sky. While you're still seated, try not to slump into it. Nice, tall spine. We're gonna go ahead and pull onto that elbow so that the fingertips are reaching down, down, down to the back. Now, while you're in this pose, you're trying to make sure your head is not protruding forward, that you're pulled back. Okay, from here, we're breathing in. I like to close my eyes so I can relax into this intense pose for myself. Breathe out, breathe in and out. One more breath, in and out. Okay, let's breathe in and then release. Okay, other side, arm up, release it down, fingertips touching the back, and then go ahead and like pull that elbow down. We're gonna breathe for three breaths. Try to relax that shoulder at the top. Breathe in and out, in and out. One more breath in and out. Good, breathe in and then release. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and roll up the shoulders. Three, two, one. Expand the fingertips outward here. We're gonna go ahead and do some outward little circles. Imagine you're painting with your finger, with your middle finger, little, little circles on these canvases that are beside you. Keep the shoulders relaxed, belly tight, back straight, okay? And then we're gonna do these little circles where we're starting to make bigger ones and bigger ones, bigger, bigger, bigger. Okay, beautiful. Keep it going, big, 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 and then switch, other way. Big, big, big circles, don't forget to breathe, and then to little mini ones. Okay, depending on your body and your shoulder strength right now, this could be whoosh, a big doozy. So breathe into it, use your breath to help you. Now I'm back to little, little circles here. Went from big to little. And I'm going forward and then releasing. Ah, well done. 
We're gonna inhale here, exhaling. Okay, let's stick our fingertips to the tops of the shoulders. Let's take those elbows up to the sky, breathing in here, belly tight, chest up. Inhale here, and then exhale, open up, breathe out. Okay, do that again, breathing in, breathing out, fingertips to the shoulders, inhale, elbows up, elbows up, breathing out, release. Okay, inhale, exhale, fingertips to the shoulders, inhale, elbows up, and then exhale, release. While you're doing this, tight belly, please breathe in, breathe out, in, up, up with the chest, and breathe out. Okay, let's go ahead and take the fingertips to the tops of the shoulders, and with a nice little movement of the whole torso, moving into the waist, we're gonna do these big expansive circles on each side of us. Really making this beautiful circle arc beside us. Okay, don't forget to breathe. And then let's go ahead and do the opposite direction. Being very expansive, stretching, opening up that upper back, really kind of stretching into those intercostal spaces of our ribs and not forgetting please to breathe. Ooh, perfect, good. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, take your hands onto your knees. Let's go ahead and do a seated cow pose. Breathe in, exhale, round the back to cat. Again, breathing in to cat. One more time, breathing in to cat pose, please. Well done. Come on back to center. We're gonna go for a gentle twist. So take one hand in front, the other hand behind. Lift and lengthen and exhale, twist. Relax those shoulders. Breathe in, exhale, twist. Go ahead and take the hand, if it suits you, to the outside of that thigh. Inhale, lift and lengthen and exhale, twist. With nice, relaxed shoulders, let's go ahead and look to the back of our shoulder. Back shoulder. And now let's look to the opposite shoulder here. Inhaling, exhaling. Breathing in and out. One more breath, please. In and out. Good. Inhale and exhale, unwind. Let's switch hands. So now I'm gonna switch hands, take one hand in front of the other, uh, one hand, the other, the opposite hand in front, and the back hand's gonna be planted and rooted into the mat behind. Inhale, exhale, twist. Relax the shoulders again, breathing in. Exhale, twist. Breathing in, and go ahead and twist. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Let's look over the back shoulder, breathe in. And then exhale, let's look over the front shoulder. Nice little tilt of the head as you do this. I always like to close my eyes. Helps me deepen into the stretch. Believe it or not, even though this is a twist, we're working our upper thoracic spine and also is a beautiful way to stretch into your shoulder. So all the tendons and the muscles and the joints. Okay, breathe in and out. One more breath in. And let's go ahead and release out. Okay, before we end this practice, we're gonna go ahead and look one way and then the opposite way, still sitting nice and tall. Come back to center. Let's go ahead and ear to shoulder. Come back to center, ear to shoulder. Reminding ourselves that the head and the neck is all connected to the shoulder and our clavicle and to our scapula. Everything is always connected. Come on back to center. Let's go ahead and draw the chin in slightly. Tuck the chin in. Stretch the back of your neck. You may feel a nice gentle pull of the upper back. Come back up. Let's go ahead and look up slightly. Breathing in. And exhale, breathe out. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Please do subscribe to me if you liked it. Give me a thumbs up and send me a comment if you wish. Well done.
Namaste.